Good morning, Oklahoma. I'm Curtis Hare and welcome to SUNUP. Replacement heifers can be essential to a cattle operation, but with high cattle prices, will they be economically viable down the road? SUNUP host Lindell Stout catches up with Dr. Eric DeVees to find out more. We're talking now about some of the financial implications when you buy replacement heifers with Dr. Eric DeVeest, our extension economist. And Eric, let's dive right in and, and start with cash flow. Yeah, so when we're, when we're talking about any long-term investment, one of the first things we're gonna talk about is feasibility. Is there enough cash to make this happen? And so with replacement heifers, with the prices we're looking at now, most of our guys are looking at borrowing money to make that happen. And so, they're not going to be what we call self-liquidating, meaning the calves that you're selling off of those replacement heifers and the, the culled heifers cows um, won't generate enough revenue to make your principal and loan payments after you pay for feeding those animals. So that means cash has to come from somewhere else. So if we're looking at an operation that already has tight cash flow, purchasing heifers and borrowing the money to do it is only going to make that situation worse. They're going to be more financially stressed. So you've got to find cash from other sources to pay that for those heifers, pay the loan on them. And if cash is already tight, it's not going to get easier. It's only going to get more difficult. So another thing to think about too would be market prices and, and some of the fluctuation. We talk to Daryl all the time, some of the fluctuations that ca can happen there given any number of things going on. Right, so the next thing we talk about would be advisability. So is this, is this over time projected to be profitable? And there's a good chance that that's true, but it's not just that longer term profitability. We also have to look at the added financial risk put on the business when you spend a lot of cash and take on a lot more debt, what that does to the firm's financial ratios, debt to equity, debt to asset, current ratio. So we're talking about losing, using up a lot of cash reserves from the business and a lot of the credit reserve that that business has. So if, as you say, we spend the money, a farmer spends the money on that, borrows the money, and all of a sudden prices fall. So if we go back to 2014, 2014 prices were really strong for cattle. And so a lot of guys were buying replacement heifers and, and $4 a pound was not uncommon at that time for replacement heifers. Prices were solid into 2015. Then 2016, prices fell back to earth. And those guys that spent all that money on high priced heifers in 2014, were not gonna make money off of those heifers. So we're, what, we, what we're talking about really is risk. You've got a lot of financial risk associated with borrowing money. And if you're already in a tough financial position, your debt to as asset, debt to equity, current ratio, et cetera, are in, in moderate to poor shape, buying those heifers is only gonna make things worse and make you um, increase your exposure to risk from prices, from drought, from disease. And so, the short of it is, keep, um, keep risk in mind, leave space for risk. So you might not want to fill up the pastures just yet. So with these things in mind, and, and granted, this is a very brief overview. This takes some thought, some preparation, some study, possibly some, some counseling from experts. But with those, those things in mind, what are some of the options that people can look at in setting this up for their so, businesses? Yeah, so if you, if you decide not to buy as many heifers as what you think your pastures are gonna carry, so you're, you're, you're short stocked, there are a lot of options for that forage. Um, you can wean calves, put them back on stockpiled forage. You can stockpile that forage to run your stock farther into the fall and winter and put fewer groceries out there, hay. Um, you can lease out pastures. You can bale pastures, although financially that might be the, the worst of the options. Um, but there are options available to you. You can still generate cash off of pastures that you don't put more breeding stock on. So, and it, in many cases will be lower risk to do that. So if there is this urge and there's, there's a lot of um, conversations uh, happening right now to say, hey, you need to, you need to buy some replacement heifers, get after it. If there is that urge, what, what, is the, what is the first step that you advise people to do to kind of take a step back and map this out? Go to your banker, um, talk with your banker about where you're at financially 
and then try to figure out where's the cash going to come from over the next five years to pay that that loan off and if that can't be positively identified look for an alternative plan all righty take take a deep breath and plan something else out yep. eric thanks for your time today really great information